Hey, there we are again. And today I'm going to show you my top 10 albums that are not black metal. And like in the, as in the video about black metal, this is not about my super favorite albums of all time. It's just albums I can always listen to. Okay? It's very important. People, people tend to underestimate the power of your current mood, you know? So chill. There will be a lot of death metal on the list, since death metal is one of my favorite um, metal genres. So don't be surprised. Number one is Pink Floyd, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I know, a lot of people would say, huh? What about, you know, Dark Side of the Moon? Or Uma Guma? Or Animals? Or the other nice Pink Floyd stuff? Why do you have to pick the very first album with Sid Barrett that LSD had? Because I love it. It's a very creative, very childish, very interesting album. It's, it's, it was written by a crazy guy, literally. You know, that guy suffered from uh, schizophrenia later. I, and I'm, I don't want to say you can hear that, but you can hear that. And I love that album. Songs you should check out. I wrote that down. Lucifer Sam or The Gnome. British psychedelic whatever music, rock. Next one is Bolt Thrower, Those Once Loyal. You know, Bolt Thrower. I started my death metal career with uh, Six Feet Under, and if I knew that there was a band like Bolt Thrower, I would have thrown Six, Six Feet Under away immediately, because it's probably the best groovy death metal band there is. Sorry, obituary. You know it's true. Songs you should listen to. Anti-Tank or Granite Wall. Granite Wall? Gra granite Wall? Groovy stuff, nice riffing, interesting phrasing. Oh no, don't use words you don't understand. Next one is a band from Canada. It's Cryptopsy, my favorite death metal band of all time. And the album I choose is Non So Vile with Whisper Supremacy. I love Non So Vile. Non So Vile is a perfect album, but I cannot always listen to it, you know? I have to be in a certain ugly mood for that. Unlike uh, Whisper Supremacy, which I think is a very underrated, uh, underrated um, Cryptopsy album. Very brutal, very fast, very technical, and I always like to call the music ugly, because I think that fits it perfectly. Songs you should listen to are Flame to the Surface or Cold Hate, Warm Blood. Warm Blood, Cold Hate? Cold Blood, Warm Hate. Cold... The second song. Next one is a German punk band, The Shocks. And, um, you know, our drummer, uh, uh, the drummer of my uh, grindcore band, is a huge punk fan, or was a huge punk fan, and he always says, that's not punk, that's shit. And I'm fine with that, but I love The Shocks. I, it's probably not even punk, that's right. It, but I love how the guitar and the drums work together, and it's uh, great, and the, the, the music has a lot of energy, and it doesn't sound that raw like GBH for example does hardcore or but it's still just listen to it or listen to the hit song Fenster in meiner Zelle yeah not my favorite song or Human Abfall aus Bonn oh the album uh, more cuts for you in zero two next one is ska no reggae it's the specials probably the most famous ska band you know I'm a black metal head when I listen to other music, I listen to the most famous ones. Obviously, because I don't have the time to, you know, dig deeper into that genre. And it's the first album, Specials. And I fell in love with the bass. The, the bass is amazing. The doo -doo -doo. Very, uh, you, you could say, danceable. I don't dance, but uh, if I was a dancer, that would be the perfect music for me. Listen to songs like Nightclub or New Era, Dawning of a New Era. Nice stuff. I had a very hard time picking this one because, you know, I was like, should I take this one, which is Annihilation of the Wicked by Nile, or Ithyphalic by Nile? Both albums are. Mwah. That's my favorite Nile albums. Or, I mean, Those Whom the Gods Detest is pretty. Every, every Nile album is awesome, you know, but these are my favorites. And I, Annihilation of the Wicked, I think it was my very first Nile album I listened to. Everyone knows Nile, right? It's technical death metal, but not technical like Cryptopsy is. It's more, you can feel the heat of the desert blowing through the speakers somehow, because it's, you know, Egyptian, uh, it's about Egyptian topics. 
I love it. Listen to Uzermat Re, which is a very slow song actually for if you consider that it's Nile, or the title track, Annihilation of the Wicked. Awesome. Some heavy metal. Sirens by Savatage. No, not, not Iron Maiden or something. I know, I, I could choose Iron Maiden, even though I, I even prefer uh, Judas Priest over Iron Maiden. Sorry to all the Iron Maiden fans. Still good, you know? Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Maiden still good. You know? Iron Man, that was a song by, what's it called? The Ozzy Osbourne Band. Chill, okay, I'm kidding. What I love about that album is especially uh, the riffs, of course, and the sound. It's It has a very, very nice sound. The, the sound fit the riffs very well. Listen to I Believe or Holocaust. Of all the albums I discovered when I was looking for underground, um, brutal death metal back in the days. Cadaver Pleasures by Supreme Pain still sticks with me. I love that album. I love it. I love the riffs, the sound, the singing. I think it's Art Klosterwald, a uh, Dutch guy. The whole band is Dutch. Um, and it's brutal. It's um, not too fast. You know, when, when we think about brutal death metal, it's always like, oh, this is probably super fast. But it's not. It's, it's more heavy and in your face and uh, the, the sound is just mm, very punchy, very ugly as well. Uh, listen to the title track, Cadaver Pleasures or what's it called? Li Lifeless Skin and Bones. Nice break. An album I rediscovered a few weeks ago um, because I used to listen to Arise by Sepultura a lot, but I totally forgot about how great Schizophrenia actually is. It was the time when they were still more wild than on uh, Arise, and I like that. I like the super wild death thrash whatever metal that is. Um, I consider Sepultura, especially the early albums, to be very underrated. People should listen to more uh, Sepultura stuff, especially Arise, Beneath the Remains. Uh, forget about Roots, but you know, I'm, I know that I'm talking to professionals here. You know these albums, right? Listen to Escape to the Void or To the Wall. Great stuff. Last one Hot Rats by Frank Zappa. I think it's not an understatement when I say that, at least to me, this album contains probably. One of the most interesting, well-written, nice, intelligent, and beautiful melodies I've ever, I've ever listened to. I was ever able to experience. Freaking hell, Hot Rats is a masterpiece. It's an instrumental album, actually. Um, a kind of instrumental. There are some some vocals here and there, but it, you could consider it an instrumental album. <sighs> Frank Zappa's greatest work, maybe. And I think it's, it's it's his most famous album. Even though I love Shake Your Booty, etc. These are great albums too, but Hot Rats. Oh, listen to the first song, Peaches and Irelia, Re Retalia or something. I wrote that down. Regalia, huh? Or Son of Mr. Green Jeans. Amazing stuff. What's your favorite? albums with, that are not black metal. Sepultura was the only thrash metal band on the riff that, uh, on the on the list. That's interesting because I'm a huge Exodus fan as well. Who cares? See you next time people. <laughs>